Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Welcome back. Now that we have achieved 2,500 subscribers, the time has come to unveil Salamander 4.0. None of today's rigs would have been possible without the Demon Bunny, and today I shall be showing off all of her hard work. So make sure to drop her some nice comments down below. And without further ado, let's begin. Let's start with the 1.0 rig. This is the only one that Bunny did not rig herself and I had no idea that she was creating this for me. And since she knows I enjoyed the show Arcane, that was the art style she went for for this model, with both the hair and facial features matching closely to that of my Final Fantasy character. For 1.0, she created a full body model with some unique attire. With red and black being my favorite colors, she designed this suit, which comes with a little salamander familiar sitting in my pocket. She also gave me a toggle for a nice jacket that sits on my shoulders. And since in-game, I never remove my carbuncle ears. For extra detail, she created these small carbuncle cuffs on the sleeves. Also included is a black eyes toggle, and the carbuncle ear toggle comes complete with my Aurora horns. She hired somebody else to do the rigging, as this was before she began to learn it herself. Which is why in comparison to later models, things feel a bit more flat. However, I am still extremely happy with how this turned out. For Salamander 2.0, Bunny this time created a full-body chibi version, as we already had a full-body human-style rig. She both created and rigged this model herself. She once again gave me the same outfit matching the original. However, this time around, we got so many more hilarious add-ons. And for her first attempt at rigging, she did a much better job than the person she hired for 1.0. The head can both move and look around. The eyes and mouth are way more lively. Overall, things look far more 3D and I come complete with my shit-eating grin. For the toggles, you best believe we are starting with a salamander minion add-on, complete with his own physics and the ability to look where I look. And since we often make frog jokes, I of course had to also get a frog minion. Same features as the salamander, only this time when I look down, his tongue comes out. For my third minion, I have a Telemon from Digimon. Since both myself and Demon Bunny are fans of Digimon, I of course had to ask for my own Digimon. Again with the same physics, only this time Taylormon speaks when I do, and has moving ears and a swinging tail. This rig was also around the time I started doing more guide videos, so she created for me the Moogle themed clipboard, with its taped on features, including a small PvP changes sticker on the back. In the future, I do plan to start adding variety to the channel, and since I love the Resident Evil games, for the first new outfit, she made for me Leon's jacket from Resident Evil 4. We once again have the jacket from the 1.0 rig, this time for the chibi version, which also comes with some shiny carbuncle cufflinks, and we all know how Final Fantasy love their funny mascot outfits. So Bunny took it upon herself to create the very first mascot Moogle head. This is still one of the funniest add-ons I own. I also try my best to make my videos accessible to new players, which is why for the next add-on, she gave me a nice little sprout leaf. And of course, I could not go without my carbuncle ears. This time around though, I got all three, Ruby, Emerald, and Topaz, complete with bounce physics. And last up for this rig is one hilarious add-on, a full body Salamander onesie. Going by the name Salamander, of course it had to happen, complete with big eyes, a moving tail, and grippers. Amazing work for her first time rigging. Onto rig 3.0, she made for me my first half rig, and improved vastly on her rigging skills. She wanted to focus more on the face, to be even more expressive. She even gave me mad detailing with the eyes, the shading, lighting, even the bounce and subtle changes in size. You will notice the head on this model has way more movement. I even come complete with next level eyebrow game. She surprised me with this rig while I was serving jury duty for six weeks, and once again comes with a bunch of toggles. She gave me the little anime style angry humph symbol, since I have much more control over my face. Once again, she made sure to give me all three color toggles for my carbon ears, Ruby, Emerald, and Topaz, with a smidge more bounciness than the 2.0 model. Now in real life, myself and my family have beehives. Bunny herself hates bees, and we had also been playing a game called Grounded, in which I made a room full of bees. So from there, I of course asked for the next mascot to be a giant bee head. She calls them little criminals in jumpsuits. For my next toggle, I once again ask for a Digimon, this time going with the original baby Botamon, he sits on my head. And she rigged him the same way Digimon Cyber Sleuth did, with his little shakes. You will have seen him a lot in video intros. Since it was almost Christmas as well, she added in a toggle for herself, in which I sit inside a small present box, with a small to bunny label on the side. I also love the Spyro games, so she made for me Moneybag's bag to sit in. This next toggle will require some context, 
I enjoy ramen like any true gamer, hence the giant ramen cup. This is around the 1.7k sub mark, and she gave it the great name, Shitty Ramen, with a caked up frog as the mascot. Why a caked up frog? Well, for weeks, I was sending her YouTube videos of fat little frogs with tiny cheeks. This affected her algorithm, and for months, YouTube's recommendation was just frog ass. And so, frog ass shitty ramen was born. And for my last toggle, she gave me a nice digivice to sit in, should I decide in the future to add Digimon videos to the channel. Now is the time to unveil Salamander 4.0. Bunny smashed this one out for reaching 2500, once again with another half body. Only this time she made it more anime-like than the other three. The eyes she made for me this time are next level, so much more life in them than ever before. Eyebrow game on fleek once again, and the mouth is the most responsive one yet. Of course I had to have my character's hairstyle as always, and if you look closely, you will notice she made for me small ruby carbuncle style earrings. For the eyes feature this time we still have black. However, this time we also have a red eyes toggle, which on this model looks fire. As always, I must have my carbuncle ears, and Bunny this time mentioned, there is an onyx carbuncle in the game. So not only do I have ruby, emerald, and topaz, we now also have access to onyx carbuncle ears. She went all out on the horns and the scaling this time around, not a single detail was missed, including a new feature for the horns, magma scales. She got this idea from when we play Monster Hunter, where the Silver Rathlos had a glow coming from under the scales, making for an awesome addition to the Aurora horns. And since I make the occasional PvP video, Bunny has created the first ever PvP armband. Since my company is the Immortal Flames, she even went ahead and recreated their emblem to go with the band, nailing every tiny detail. We also have a Assassin's Creed inspired waist belt and a Viking tunic inspired top. Now, um. Bunny added a little easter egg to this one that only shows up during the color switch. And yes, you are seeing that right. I have frog nipple pasties. I will let that cursed knowledge sink in for a second, because the frog mascot is real once again, with the final feature being the PvP trash towel. And yes, Bunny made the perfect cheeked up PvP battle ready frog icon just for this. We have the 2.5k subs tag with the one dislike. A running joke as every video I upload, gets hit with one dislike, sometimes within the first few seconds. And there we have it, Salamander 4.0. Expect to see much of him in the upcoming videos, and you now know the backstory to certain add-ons. I hope you all love Bunny's new work, thank you all for tuning in, and I shall see you all in the next one.